It is a sad day. Well, it's been a sad few days. But, not butthurt, not upset. Well, upset. Heartbroken, if you will. We all are. But, on one point, f*** you stars. And on the other point, thank you stars. Uh, but you can't really blame stars. Again, it happens with expensive shows, and it was a expensive show, and then people, fans, not willing to support the show. This happens a lot when a lot of people in the anime community bitch about how their shows don't get more seasons. You don't support them. You pirate them. You don't support them, basically, in any way. And they whine. Now we have legions of fans whining that Ash vs. Evil Dead is no more. And uh, these people didn't support them. Because a lot of them pirated and were not willing to pay for stars. I did for 10 weeks, and once Ash was over, that was it. <laughs> so, I was willing to do it for just 10 f***ing weeks, people, to support my show. But the point of this isn't that. The point of this is, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity. And for giving us, like everyone's saying, and Bruce himself said, 15 more hours of Evil Dead, of Ash. Of all this. When the news first came out that Evil Dead was getting a TV show, I was, you know, on cloud nine, jumping on the ceiling. It is, in my opinion, you know, it's my favorite anything of all time. You know, and then, like, my best buddy and a couple people, you know, they, you know, really love it so much like that as well. But the Evil Dead series, and I'm talking about the films and the show, is the greatest franchise series ever created. And Ash, you are the greatest character ever made, I believe. Uh, and that's basically because Bruce put so much life into him. The premiere episode of the first season, when he saw him strap on, they did the little monster, all the <laughs> him just trying to squeeze in the stuff. But when he had his, like this, when he had that, the straps around him, then he gets the chainsaw back in his arm, and he looked cool, he looked just as awesome and cool and wonderful and amazing as he did back in the day. And he was still that lovable dick, the lovable, charming guy that it's just what's so great about Ash's character. And I'm thankful for Bruce portraying him one last time. I really hope, even though he put a thing out saying he's retiring him, hanging up his chainsaw for good, I really hope that maybe someday again we'll see him one more time. Because, I mean, the finale isn't done yet, but I was it just... At one point, you want it to go on forever because I felt like it could have. But at the same time, you don't want it to get stale like everything else nowadays. There isn't a show or film series out there that is just hasn't been turned to shit, Complete and utter shit, Just because they just want to keep milking it forever and ever and ever. And it just... 20 seasons later, it, it was good like the first couple seasons. And then after that, <clears throat> same with the film series. You know, look at Star Wars, for example. Mm, sorry, but it's just, you gotta let it go at some point. And we just gotta, we'll, we'll move on, we'll continue, but we're thankful that we have the awesome film series, three amazing seasons, 30 freaking more episodes, 30 more adventures with Ash, the Necronomicon, the Evil Dead, Deadites, all of them, and the new characters, I grew to love them very much. And I wasn't at all at first one of those ones where I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like these people. I'm like, it's Evil Dead. I'm here to f***ing watch Ash. That's basically all I want. I want to see Ash with his chainsaw f***ing kicking ass. That's all we really want. They didn't hinder it. They helped, and they were great additions, great chemistry, great team. You were all wonderful. And again, thanks, Stars. Thanks, Sam Raimi. Thanks, everyone involved. And again, I loved how... There was a few of the CGI blood and stuff in there. For the most part, it was all the practical effects and the amazing, just, like, out-of-this-world, fantastical bullshit that you came up with every episode, every season. Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, it was it was great. Tears in your eyes, seeing Ash back again. The chainsaw, going back to the cabin in the woods. The Necronomicon on the deck. Everything just... And then bring back all those characters from the show in the past and everything. Ash's dad, uh... Ah, uh, f***ing everything was, I think, perfect. So, and then it, with each se episode, each season, it got wackier and wackier, more f***ed up. 
And that's when, you know, love the first Evil Dead film. It's really good. But then, you know, once you started realizing it needs to be horror comedy, really f***ed up wacky sh And then Evil Dead 2 and then Army of Darkness took it to that even more so level. And then this just took it even beyond that. And for me, to this day, I used to think, like, Army of Darkness had, like, the greatest of all quotes. Because that movie was so quotable. Every f***ing thing in there was amazing. But then, to this day, it's still my favorite, I think, quote of all time now. Favorite little scene, just something perfectly from Ash, was in the first season. Is where he goes... It's like, hey! And he's got the blood all over him, him and Pablo, and he's like... Oh, we were just, you know, out hunting deer. You know, with my chainsaw arm. <laughs> and it's just like trying to explain this and it's like it's like what is all this like you know then the deer exploded and he's all like deer don't explode and he's like maybe you're not hunting the right kind of deer like to hear someone say like i'm a hunter deer don't explode maybe you're not hunting the right kind of deer it's just the way he delivers it the way he looks he looks like such an asshole such a smug son of a bitch that whole scene he's such a smug son of a bitch and, and then it's like when she finally turns uh, it's like, oh good, I'm starting to feel like a real dick. I mean, it's just, that right there, just hunting with my chainsaw arm, and maybe you're hunting the wrong kind of deer. It was just like, who, uh, I don't know, it, it, for some reason that one always stuck with me, and I just find it hilarious. The whole thing was great. Each it, it kept on getting different, like each season was more different and fresher and different. I love, you know, the nostalgia factor throughout all season one, and then season two giving us like more of Ash's past community, his father, and then the town. All that kind of stuff like that. And then this one, which, you know, I, this thing just went all over the place. And a daughter, and I was pretty proud of the series. I think we all are at the end of the day. We're fans. We love it, and we're all upset, and we wish it would continue. So we're all mad at stars. I was there when NBC canceled Community, but then, luckily enough, they picked up for, were picked up for that six seasons. So now we just need the six season of the movies, and then all stuff there, and like this... Yeah, NBC canceling Hannibal, but thank you know Hannibal they gave us three awesome seasons for that, and uh, we got three awesome seasons of <laughs> uh, more awesome adventures with Ash and crew, and I'm thankful for that. I'm sure they are. Everyone should be thankful and happy, and just be happy we had more adventures with Ash and all of them. And I still to this day, best franchise, best series, greatest character ever made. Everything about him and Bruce is just. If he ever sees this, you know, this isn't, you know, but if anything, if you ever hear or whatever, or, you know, someday you can just shake the, but, you know, you're awesome, brilliant, and I really hope one more time, maybe, but I know there's three things that I would like to have happen, maybe. You're retired, great, kind words, beautiful, go out there, just keep Ash alive in some way, you know, but three things can happen, maybe it does get picked up, even though he just said that. Thanks for doing that, but I'm retired, so that might not happen. It would still be great if it did. Uh, two, Army of Darkness 2 finally happening. Just give us Army of Darkness 2. Just, you're done, but just that one last time, like, I'm done, but you know what? Army of Darkness 2. I would love it. We would all love it. And the least likely, three, uh, my awesome little project, dream project I have for a script for an awesome movie someday, and it would be awesome. Because it's specifically pointed out for Bruce. But anyway, uh, who knows? <laughs> if it ever kicks off and stuff happens. But anyway, Bruce, you're the best. You know, it's true. Hail to the King, baby. Definitely. And uh, just, just keep it groovy, everyone, okay? Keep it groovy. I'm very upset, but I'm so thankful we got more Evil Dead and Ash. Thank you so much. Bye for now.